Hi, I'm Erica from Desi Blitz. Thank you, Bitopi and Prakash, for joining us today. And a very warm welcome on behalf of the UK Asian Film Festival in Tongues and Fire. Firstly, huge congratulations on your movie, Fireflies. How are you feeling today, Prakash? I'm feeling very good uh, after the uh, National Award uh, and a lot of uh, award we got the Cassis Film Festival. Uh, in the Cassis Film Festival, we got the Best Actor Award. And uh, actually not because of the award, uh, the audience have uh, liked this film. The response from audience, they have written uh, very well. Uh, all the audience and all my friends in Mumbai, I am uh, staying here in Mumbai from last 10 years. And all my friends from uh, Hindi film industry, they all have liked the movie and uh, all the audience uh, in all film festivals uh, like uh, uh, I am, uh, I am in festival in yeah. USA, and uh, all the festivals so audience have liked this film. That's why I am very happy. Very glad to hear that. So, how was your experience directing this movie? How's your experience directing the movie? It was uh, very good because I have learned a lot of things, and uh, uh, because uh, I worked in this film as. Uh, not only as the director and the writer, I also worked as a production manager. I also worked as art director, costume director. So I learned a lot of things uh, because it is the first uh, feature film I have directed. And uh, I was, uh, I did the shooting at my own village in Assam. And that was, it was a little comfortable for me. My family and my villagers uh, supported me a lot. And, uh, uh, and the main thing is uh, Bitofi and the uh, producer of this film, uh, Milin, they, they are working in LGBTQ activity from last uh, seven, eight years. So that's why it was uh, very helpful for, uh, helpful for me uh, to research in this subject, to go to the uh, LGBTQ community members or the uh, Karana trans and the trans women. We, whenever when I met the trans women from Assam at uh, Hijra Karana, it was uh, very easy for me because of them because they were already working on that subject. And uh, I have learned a lot of things actually from this movie. I have uh, gained a lot of confidence. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's really good to know. And uh, the movie was incredibly moving. Thank Definitely. you. So um, my question to you is that why only LGBTQ? So what inspired you to talk about LGBTQ? Yeah, I have been seeing, I have been noticing, noticing this uh, uh, issue from my childhood uh, for, uh, in my villages also. And uh, all the LGBTQ community members ha uh, had to sacrifice a lot of things in this India life uh, I have seen. And I didn't uh, directly, uh, um, uh, uh, I was not involved directly, uh, but uh, I was actually, uh, I went to Assam uh, for my another film project and I met Milim. And, and that day when I met Milin, he was coming from uh, a, a trans woman, uh, a, uh, Hizra Karana. He, uh, he came that day and I met him in the evening in a wedding party. Mm -hmm. And he was uh, saying me that he want to make some, make some uh, uh, documentary on uh, Hizra Karana. Uh, from the Assamese trans women, uh, those are living in Hijra Karana. And I told him that actually I am not a documentary maker. Uh, till that, and I don't know uh, in future, I will, uh, maybe I will make documentary. And I would like to make a feature film, he, I told him. Then he uh, does the project was uh, started. And uh, I am very happy to do this project. It was very good experience. How did you come up with this name, Fireflies? Yeah, Fireflies uh, is an insect. Uh, those uh, who uh, 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 
and then gn is your pot to pona yeah those who apply they they use their own bodies like own bodies light uh, light to fly uh, and the lgbtq member also have to choose their part or by their own uh, own light actually uh, like fireflies in the darkness they have lot of darkness in their way in their life they have to they, they have to fight with uh very uh, a lot of darkness that's why i thought that fireflies would be uh, good for the film uh, that reminds me of a scene when the male protagonist was um, actually playing with the fireflies once he discovered his identity so uh, yeah that is very lyrical and that's something really um you know attracted me as well definitely a um, very good thought behind the name so um how difficult was it to cast the actors or the characters for the movie yes i was uh, trying uh, a, an another actor uh, for this character and uh, i tried him more than 20 25 days and he was not able to do properly as i wanted to see and i uh, the actor uh, benjamin the lead actor who have worked this character who have played this character he was uh, working in a play which one of my friend uh, in a village of assam and uh, i i found him and uh, i tried uh, i did, uh, i took 3 uh, days uh, of his audition he he did uh, and uh, after that I, he i uh, he he practiced with me uh, for more than 15 20 days for this character and uh, after that uh, he did very well i i am satisfied with his uh, performance and he have won a lot of award uh, national award or other award for best actor wow his performance was definitely impeccable uh good job to him on that and bitopi uh, for you as well how challenging was it for you to play the character you played in the movie um yes and no um i mean in the sense it was challenging and no uh, not challenging at the same time because um because he was actually training uh, all the actors especially the ones who were playing the lead roles in some way or the other major characters so i was also trained uh for a couple of days like not couple of days a 15 days time i guess and um and the uh, character that actually uh, that i played i relate to that character a lot because uh, if you see it's a very non voyeuristic projection of a woman i mean yeah. unconventional women otherwise you always see women um um who are like feminine or womanly and things like that but it was it and it, that's also the way i have actually grown so um so i understand and i relate uh, uh, to that anger that she has inside her and uh, at the same time the fondness that she has so so it was not very challenging for me to relate to it and uh, i used to act uh, when i was a child in school so it was a big it was a, it was after a long long gap that as back yeah. acting so it was interesting also so um i was excited and at the same time this character is something that i was really convinced about so Mm-hmm. So it's fine, and definitely the director was there to train, so it was okay. Definitely. So, uh, you know, like in the movie, Prakash, you depicted that how transgender people they have to face and overcome a lot of issues, right? So, uh, is this still prevalent in the Sam? And if yes, if it's still prevalent in the Sam, how? What was the reaction of the people um, in? your village or city how did they perceive the movie uh time uh, time is not the same like uh, i was in my childhood in my village uh, nowadays people have have accepted this issue little more not uh, properly not uh, as much as should they but uh, Uh, it is changing and uh, but uh, people was uh, not comfortable at uh, the word with the word uh, uh, we call hijra they was not comfortable with the, with the word when we say hijra there was a little um, last discomfort, uh, discomfort. Yeah. they were a little uh, discomfortable with this word but uh, they supported me and uh, they have liked this movie uh, 
time has changed not like the same uh, like, like the past actually nowadays yeah yeah i um, issue wise speaking because i'm also working on this issue right so um the acceptability has increased but it's not perfect and um, uh, transgender people still do face a lot of hurdles but then um, and and that's what i think is interesting because after a movie came out many people actually came out saying that they never knew this side of the story because the projection of homosexual people or queer people or transgender people in movies has always been very from a very straight lens like from a very heterosexual lens but this was Uh, this is a film which is like really based on a queer narrative. We actually see the world through a queer lens, and that actually really touched a lot of people's heart. And um, and not only people from the community, but also people like heterosexual people, straight people, called to say that they never thought of this in this way. Right. So um, yeah, so I think that's interesting. I, I, and and after that. Uh, i think it this in in village and in in, in the villages and also in assam this this film now has uh, come to be very widely discussed it's like everybody knows about it and uh, and uh, people have actually written about it genuinely like uh, we didn't even ask anyone to write anything about it and we had like you know zero money for publicity and to reach out and things like that so whatever comment actually you will see online offline it's like totally organic and that's also really like um, inspiring for us so so um i think it's also about um, for example like what how we are saying that people are not comfortable uh, uttering the word hijra or say you know uh, a trans women for that matter uh, or they are not comfortable seeing a banjo dressed up like a girl uh, they were also like you know mocking and all but but at the same time uh, they were also probably uh, but, but then when the movie came out um they saw an entirely different world because during shooting you do not know na exactly how the whole film will come out and things like that so um so so i think it's also the storytelling that touched everyone that you know it it really sensitized people um if if i would say so i wouldn't say that uh, because people have changed that so this film has been accepted i would say that because the way the film has been told that it is really garnering a lot of acceptance and a lot of thing it's it's really stirring a lot of thinking and this is something that i can actually say as an activist because uh, there are actually uh, even filmmakers and other uh, people uh, in a creative line who have actually come out um, and accepted and actually apologized for um, very homophobic projection of queer people in their own creations they even they have said that they never thought like that there are people who have actually come out um uh, uh, apologizing and doing videos for how they had also bullied uh wow. probably social people in their past so so it's more about what the film made them feel rather than mm-hmm. you no know, they had changed that's why they related i don't think that was the case so i think that's that's i think that's pretty revolutionary i mean the way i see it uh, from a very activist and you know social worker lens i would like to say one incident uh, one uh, boy who was about to play a character in this uh, movie in the rehearsal rehearsal day uh, he bullied benju our lead character he bullied uh, benju and benju was crying that day and uh, i cancelled him and i casted uh, one another boy at that role uh, yeah yeah so um, i think those also because uh, we are taking every care that you know it's not only the f- about the product that comes out but the whole process of shooting also has to be very uh, you know it also has to walk the talk it what happens behind the camera is also sort of important and i think that was also a message that was actually sent across you know where it was shot that you know no homophobic or transphobic behavior or comments will be tolerated and uh, i think that also yeah that's that was also it's very interesting to know that people uh, the way people responded to the movie and uh, how the thought process started changing and how they reacted towards uh, this this kind of uh, you know their their previous thoughts 
So, uh, like you mentioned that uh, you've been working, you were an activist and you've been working for this community. So what are you doing to create a change, like apart from uh, the movie? What are you doing to, uh, you know, create an impact in society? Uh, yeah, so, um, uh, actually, uh, Apart from the movies, just happened just now, right? Um, but um, there are actually a lot of people who we started the movement in 2014. Milin was there, I was there, and two other friends were there. Milin was a woman then. Um, uh, now he has transitioned to a man. But then uh, it was she, uh, Milin was a woman, and it was four women. I mean, four of us who are all women. So we did the first Pride Walk, and that actually uh, created the stare. And a lot of people actually came out. And then we also organized, uh, I mean, formed the first queer uh, youth collective of the region. And then um, started working on sensitization. Uh, there's also a LGBTQI film festival that we, which is also the first in the region. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and now a lot of new people have also come up. New leaders have also come up. There are not, a lot of new groups have been formed and uh, they have been working. We're trying to reach out to universities. Um, we have we are trying to reach out to uh, people from the community, a queer community through uh, support groups, um, you know. And now uh, I know uh, there are uh, other groups who are actually helping the queer population in COVID times with, uh, you know, uh, medical facilities or resources because uh, sometimes it's mostly queer people who do not get access to services and things like that. So there are a range of work happening. Um, that's that's there. That's incredible to see the kind of support you are giving uh, to LGBTQ community. Definitely. Coming back to the movie, Prakash, uh, what were the challenges you faced while directing the movie? Uh, I told you before that I was uh, looking for uh, many uh, department. Uh, I was looking the production. I, I was working as production manager also and uh, i was uh, looking the art department also that was was challenging for me because we made it we made this film uh, in very low budget and uh, that was challenging for me and nowadays it was it is little challenging that nowadays uh, people are not uh, so much in interested uh, to look uh, film shooting if there is no any star cast and whenever we have to uh, make a crowd uh, then we have to we had to go to door to door and uh, uh, ask people to come for the, to the shooting spot uh, that we have we, we need crowd it was little uh, challenging otherwise uh, almost very good not very tough that's really good to know um, so basically this year the theme of our festival is rio four so how does your film relate to our theme? Sorry, what is it? This year, the theme of our festival is Ray of Hope. Ray so of Hope. Yes, yeah, so what do you think, uh, how does your movie relate to our theme? Uh, yeah, this movie is uh, actually uh, making a lot, uh, making Ray to the LGBTQ community in Assam. Little, I don't know, I can say that it is changing all the, all things, but I can say that a lot of uh, members from LGBTQ community called me, they cried and they say that, that this movie has changed a lot of things in their life. And uh, especially the lead character in our film, Benjamin Doimari, this movie has changed a lot of things in his life. He's totally changed. He's, he, uh, uh, he's now openly yeah. uh, uh, come out, out now. And uh, he, a uh, lot of things, uh, and uh, this is the first LGBTQ movie in Assam. Uh, this is uh, based, uh, based in LGBTQ subject. This is the first movie. And nowadays, a lot of movies and short films and plays are uh, on process in Assam. That's why I can say that uh, it, it, uh, it was uh, not uh, less than a ray uh, for the LGBTQ community, this movie. Thank you, thank you so much for sharing uh, this with us, uh, Vitopi and Prakash. Finally, post lockdown, um, what are your plans and what kind of films can we look forward to? 
Yeah, I am working from for uh, other two three project, uh, and they are uh, many of them are related to uh, environment. I am working in a feature film uh, for that is uh, subject is related to. Yeah. No, no, this is my feature film. This is I I I am the writer and the director, and uh, this is the main subject is uh, based on climate change. And uh, one is uh, a environmentalist, uh, yeah. yeah, from Assam, uh, who who has rescued uh, more than five thousand uh, animal and bird uh, in Assam. And I am writing his biopic. I, I I am planning to make this movie in last year, next year. Uh, this is the project. This thing. Looking forward to it, uh, and finally, any message, any final message for the audience? Support independent film, and uh, because we make a film with a lot of both uh, uh, Yeah, with a lot of hard work. Hard work. Um, uh, yes, challenges, challenges, financial. Financial challenges. Uh, so support independent film. Support good film. And, uh, and nowadays, time is changing. People don't see a film from any industry like Bollywood, Hollywood, or any any other industry. People just see uh, as a good or bad films. So support good films. I'm not saying that uh, if my film is not good, then don't see it. If you think that this is a good film, then support it. That's uh, I want to say. And thank you so much. Uh, my English is not so good. I am trying to express my feelings. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you. thank you so much for coming here and sharing this with us. Um, with this, uh, we sign off, hoping our audience takes something away from this. And to remind you all, the festival runs from 26th of May to 6th of June. And uh, all the details can be fully accessed on the website. Follow us on social media at the rate, come to UK AFF and stay tuned. Thank you very much. Thank you.